हेलो स्टूडेंट्स एंड वेलकम बैक टू द वीडियो लेक्चर सीरीज ऑफ वेब प्रोग्रामिंग टुडेज टॉपिक इज अगेन रिजेक्स प्रोग्राम्स आई एम योर इंस्ट्रक्टर मिस श्रुति रावल सो इन द लास्ट लेक्चर वी हैव सीन अ रेगुलर एक्सप्रेशन प्रोग्राम इन विच वी हैड सीन थ्री टेक्स्ट बॉक्सेस एंड वी हैड सम रेगुलर एक्सप्रेशन पैटर्न क्रिएटेड फॉर दैट थ्री टेक्स्ट बॉक्सेस टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू सी द सेकेंड प्रोग्राम सो द एम फॉर दिस सेकेंड प्रोग्राम इज you have to write down the javascript code to again validate username and password the condition is password length must be between 6 to 12 characters so there is no uh, condition for what should be entered but there is only the condition for the length of the password the next condition is your username should not start with underscore at the rate or any number and the last condition is both should not be blank so let us start uh, this program okay so first let us see that uh, what is the html page that i have created so you know that uh, in the previous program also i have written the script tag inside the body also i have written the script tag before the form tag of my html so here also i am following the same pattern you can uh, again write down this form tag uh, before the script tag right so inside the form tag you know that uh, according to our uh, program there are only two text boxes username and password for so the first username text box i have written input type is equal to text and id i have given you name so let us give br so that the next text box comes on the next line the next text box is of password input type is equal to password id is equal to pass and i have taken one input type is equal to button and in the on click event attribute of my button i have called test method which i'll be writing inside my javascript so let us see what is my javascript co code now if you recall the first thing that we did in the previous program was to access the value that user is entering into the respective text boxes that is inside the username as well as password for accessing the value what was the hierarchy that were we were following we were using document object modeling and the method that we were using is document dot get element by id so the same thing i have done over here i have used document dot get element by id inside that i have passed u name now u name is the id for which text box username text box right dot what i am writing dot value that is value is the property of text box object it means it will get the value which the user is entering inside the uh, text box right and that value i am storing inside the variable u similarly i am getting the password text box value go document dot get element by id inside the password uh, because the id of password or text box is pass i am pa passing it over here p a w s and dot value so whatever value the user is uh, entering inside the password i am getting over here right now uh, you know that the condition for username was that the username should not start with uh, at the rate underscore or digit now we don't have any pattern which will give me that it should not start with this following thing right here you can see that i have created a pattern for username and we know that for username the condition is that my username should not start with at the rate underscore or any digit uh i have done a bit of tricky uh, regular expression pattern and then uh, i have checked let us see what have i done so here you can see i have written caret it means it indicates beginning only the caret inside bracket indicates negation otherwise caret outside the bracket and without bracket it indicates beginning right also i have used uh, escape that is your backslash now you may wonder ma'am what is this backslash and what why are you using it again and again uh, backslash is again an escape character there are certain special characters in uh, javascript which has certain special meaning for example you can see that if you want to create a regular expression pattern uh, what is the actual syntax the syntax is you have to write the pattern inside the forward slash so this slash has some meaning right 
so it has a different meaning what if i want to check this forward slash inside the pattern if i write somewhere here if i write forward slash what will happen it will indicate the end of my pattern right i don't want to end my pattern instead i want to check for literally the slash the normal slash character so if i want to do so i have to escape the actual meaning of that that is it it is not indicating the end of the pattern and for escaping that meaning you have to write a backslash that is known as escape characters so this at the rate dot underscore these all are the special characters that needs this escape backslash okay so what have i written beginning and then i have written at the rate with an escape slash right so what does this indicate it indicates that your string should begin with at the rate then this uh, symbol is for or if you write the straight uh, horizontal sorry if you write the vertical dash symbol that indicates or or again you are indicating caret that means beginning again you are using the escape character and then you are using underscore it means your string is beginning from at the rate or it is beginning from underscore then again i have used the vertical rod that is or again i have returned this caret outside the bracket which again indicates beginning or it begins from 0 to 9 i have given inside the bracket i have given the range digit so what does this pattern indicate all the strings which are starting either from at the rate or from underscore or from any digit that are valid according to this pattern now you may wonder ma'am we do not want this pattern we exactly want the opposite of this pattern that is my username should not start with at the rate not start with underscore or not start with 0 to 9 yes but because i have created the pattern which checks the beginning and if the beginning is from at the rate underscore or 0 to 9 what am i doing i am very smartly uh checking it against which method test method right so here you can see that i have stored it inside a variable regex and i am calling the test method regex dot test and inside that i am passing the variable u u consists of the value which is entered in the username text box now you know that this test method either returns true or it returns false when will this test method return true when your entered uh, string is matched against this regex it will return true otherwise it will return false when will my entered string uh, matched against this particular pattern when because the pattern indicates that your string should start with at the rate underscore or digit it means whenever i write any value if it is starting with underscore if it is starting with at the rate or it is starting with digit it means there is a match right and if there is a match test will return true and if this test method is returning true it means that is not what i want so the alert that i am giving is username should not start with underscore at the rate or any number so this is the tricky part this is something which i have done right in this particular case and not done in the previous program in previous program if you recall i have written everywhere i had written this negation what did it indicate it indicate that if my pattern is not matching with the user which is entering then i was giving alert but here i am doing the reverse thing if my pattern is being matched with the entered string it means my condition is false and if my condition is false i need to give an alert so what is the alert that i am giving username should not start with underscore at the rate or any number right also the next thing that i need to check was my password should be minimum of uh, uh, you can say 6 and maximum of 12 right it should be between 6 to 
so we already have stored this uh, value of password inside the variable p and we have already learned in the string method one property called length which uh, retrieves you or returns you the length of your string so here you can see i have used that p dot length if it is less than 6 or p dot length if it is greater than 12 i have given an alert password must be between 6 to 12 letters so it is not necessary that in javascript validation you always have to create a, a regular expression pattern if you have string methods available directly which you can use and your validations can be accomplished it is okay exactly that i have done over here my length method accomplishes the task so i am not creating a regular expression yes a regular expression for length can also be created but it is of no need so instead of creating a regular expression what have i done i have just called the method uh, sorry the property length and i have checked that uh, minimum it should be 6 and maximum it should be 12 right so 6 to 12 uh, password length also the last condition was both of them should not be blank so here i have written u is equal to is equal to uh, null string that is if my username text box is null and then i have used inside if condition or or my password is empty that is a null string alert username or password must not be blank so if it is a blank and if i am clicking on the button then this if condition will be true and i will get this alert username or password must not be blank if they are not blank it means i have entered the value in both of them it will check both of this condition first it will go for this password condition if the length is between 6 to 12 it is okay it will go for this uh, regex checking for username if the pattern is matching with the user which is entering the value if there is a match test will return true it means that the entered value is starting from either at the rate underscore or 0 to 9 which we do not want and if the test method is returning true i will get an alert and if the test method is returning false i will not get an alert that is i will not get this alert instead i will get an alert that is known as successful right so let us run this program and see so here you can see i have two text box username and password now let us try to run the first condition if i click on the submit button i am getting the first if condition username or password must not be blank okay now i am entering something inside the uh, text box if i am entering it at the rate and if i am entering let us enter correct password 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so password is between 6 to 12 so password condition is true but username is not so the uh, alert which i am getting is username should not start with underscore at the rate or any number okay now if i am writing correct username but i am writing wrong password right that is the password condition is wrong then i am getting password must be between 6 to 12 characters the last condition is when i am writing both of them correctly so the dialogue i am getting is successful right so this is how you can create validations for an html form using regex or any of the string methods so this was uh, all about today's program and this was all about regular expression in javascript thank you